All right, so this is a tutorial on how to remove the keys and to replace the key switch on a Corsair K95 Pro. Um, so best thing to do is, is to take a photo of the keyboard. So like this, when you put it back, you don't mess the keys up. Um, what I'll do is the best way to take the keys off uh, with this little tool here so you just basically put it in take it off and you continue on taking them off like so so they're quite easy to take off just as you can see they'll come off quite easy so as you can see even if it's quicker but this is the safest What you'll do is the middle, and you'll just slowly take it off. So you'll see that there are little screws everywhere. Oops, let me get the proper screwdriver. So remove those screws. There's one screw here, which you will use flathead and just slightly lift it up and you'll see that that screw there is hiding um, there's no other screws you will need to leave I think from memory this screw and this screw because it holds a board on the bottom so if we just start moving the screws um, we'll take this one Take this one out. And don't forget this one here. So once all the keys are off, it should be a matter of just opening it up slowly. Um, as you can see, I'm missing a key here because uh, I broke a key. So I'll show you how to replace that key. So all it is is just to open it up and hopefully, yeah, don't remove that screw and that screw. You've also got two screws here that need to come out. All right, so remove those. They need to come out there like so and then you'll see so that those two screws there that one there and that one there holds 
this board in place and it's a pain in the backside to uh, if you remove those screws so let's remove this out of the way we've got two screws there so what I have purchased was a box of these which are pretty cool so and to open it up let me just push this aside I've got an overkill you know but they are the switches so they're the same switches that I've got and you'll notice that on the bottom that there are the two pairs there that you can unsolder. So what we'll do is let's move this aside. Let's move this aside. What I found easy was to just slightly, before you do anything, just grab a screwdriver and slightly prise it away. And then this one as well. So you'll see that uh, this one here, so just ever so slightly. Don't use, don't go too much. You'll see that there's a screw here. It's the earthing, I believe. So you just need to remove that screw and lift these up slightly. Just gives you a bit of room to play with. At least that's not in the way because you've got an easy way. So as you can see, the um, these, if it's match, yeah, these match with, with these ones, as you can see there. So they're all, it's all soldered in. So, and then they clip in with um, some clips on the side here. I don't know if you can see that. Let me just, so as you can see, there's clips there which clip in quite nicely so you can see that um, once you've removed the solder from the two there if you can that's in focus yes remove the solder and then all you need to do is is just align it so it fits in nicely so as you can see the two will fit in nicely. I don't know if I've taken all the solder out of this one. Yes, I might have. Yep, there you go. So as you can see, it clips in nicely in there. And um, so, and then you just need to solder. So I just, uh, as you can see, solder there. So I'll just go get my soldering iron ready and be back. So, as you see, I've adjusted everything just so you can see. And you can see the two prongs there from the actual switches themselves. So, I think that's in focus. Sorry if it isn't. Uh, it just fits in there nicely. And I'll just make sure that... Uh, let me move this out of the way to make sure that it's... Just tin it first. Yep. So that's nice. So we'll just bring this in. Let me just try to adjust this just so at least you can see it. And so I can see it. So we'll just put a little bit of solder there we just that should be good not too much you don't need too much that's it there and just um, make sure that there's no um, no dry solder joints or no um, nothing that's uh, going to be left a bit of a lurch at the moment so let me just have a quick look with the I will lift this up and let me just have a quick look at to make sure that I haven't uh, we'll just put a little bit more I'll just put oops a little bit more in I'll just knock the camera over silly me um, 
just to make sure that I do have enough there and we'll just go that little bit more there we go that should be plenty and that's how you solder everything in um, that key now should work fingers crossed no it'll work um, and you can replace the keyboard back um, I'll also show you how to put the keyboard back um, as well so we'll just uh, move this a little bit so switch my soldering iron off the bottom plate which is there Put that there move that there be helped if I knew what I was doing so if we push this back here and all of this just be careful so you don't break these cables back here like so this one I have found to push through here and then if this goes in its place as you can see here so just nicely and push it in nicely and this one here as you can see going nicely in here so and then just make sure that's there that's there put this nicely in its place back I know it's tempting to use a screwdriver to put it in but don't put any screwdriver or anything in there because you could um, perforate the uh, the cable there so and then you Put that in there screw that in nice don't need to over tighten just so it doesn't move okay make sure everything else is nice and neat and tidy that's in its place and let me just move this up a little bit and i have this and then we put this here all right and then you'll see that that goes as you can see there twist that there like okay I've got it the wrong way around <laughs> so that actually goes like that I do apologize fits in like that nicely and then we get the two screws and the two screws and there and this one just nicely don't need to over tighten because you could break them so as you can see it fits in nicely then you just as you can see just all fours nicely into place as you can see just nicely closes up into place don't need to force it down or anything like that we'll just move this out of the this cable out of the way and you can start putting all the screws back together just remember these two always stay in keep them in otherwise yeah it's just a bit of a pain in the backside if you uh, try to, to do that
don't forget this one here. Spare screw. Nice and tight. And then you'll have this where you can see there's a little bit of a end there. And I don't know if you can see that. So that end bit there goes in like this. And it just gets till you can hear the click and you're done you can start putting all the uh find everything and start putting it all back together So as you can see, I've started with the F keys. I found it easier to work my way up um, and go down. So all you need to do is just make sure that they line up nicely, push them in and they're done. And you can see, start at nine, I need to find where 10 is. Um, 10 is somewhere around here. Doesn't matter, I can go to 11. So I've also been cleaning the keys up a little bit as they tend to get a little bit grotty so just push them in and then work your way down which makes it easier all right so as you can see we keep going on w so i've got e here it's nicely in r nicely in there uh we've got six nicely seven goes nicely in, in there seven so r t we've got t which is nicely y Got A S D F. Oops. Yep. F G H X C V B. space bar which as you can see has the three that line up with that so just make sure that they line up nicely and should be fine <laughs> 